the advanced breathing system is used in the following anesthesia delivery systems. The Aspire series, the Avance series, and the ACES series. Disconnect the bag hose from the bag hose connector, also from the clip. Remove the bag port elbow from the bag arm support. Hold the canister by the handle and push the release latch to unlock the canister. Remove the canister by tilting it downward and off the two support pins. Hold the canister by the handle and push the canister cradle release latch to unlock the canister cradle. Slide the canister up and out of the cradle. Push the module release latch and pull down on the unit to remove the module. To remove the breathing system, push the release button and gently pull the latch handle to release the breathing system. Grasp the rear handle to support the breathing system and slide the breathing system away from the workstation by pulling under the latch handle. Place the breathing system upright on a flat surface. Pull the latch to unlock the flow sensor module from the breathing system. Pull the flow sensor module from the breathing system. To remove the circuit O2 cell, first remove the O2 cell cable from the cell. Unscrew the O2 cell counterclockwise and remove it. Make sure the O-ring remains on the O2 cell. And remove the O2 cell cable from the breathing system by pressing on the connector button while pulling the connector out. To remove the flow sensors from the module, first completely loosen the thumb screw. Pull off the flow sensor cover from the flow sensor holder. Remove the flow sensor connectors from the flow sensor holder. and pull the flow sensors from the flow sensor holder. Rotate the breathing circuit module counterclockwise. After rotating, separate the two sections by pulling them apart. To disassemble the breathing circuit module, remove the check valve circuit lens by squeezing the latches together and pulling up on the lens. Lift out the check valve assemblies. Press the latch on the bellows assembly to unlock the ramp. Lift the ramp and remove the tabs from the slots to remove the ramp. Lift the APL valve diaphragm to remove it. After disassembling the advanced breathing system, please clean components utilizing the GE approved cleaning and sterilization user's reference manual. I am now going to point out the components which can be autoclaved. First, the bellows assembly, the breathing circuit module, flow sensor cover, the absorber canister if it's a reusable canister, my flow sensor module, check valves, my check valve circuit lens, APL valve ramp, and the APL valve diaphragm. The following items are not pictured, but can also be autoclaved. If using a condenser, the condenser module, as well as the condenser, and if using a easy change canister, the easy change canister module. Items that are not autoclavable include the O2 cell and the O2 cable, as well as plastic flow sensors. However, if you have autoclavable flow sensors, these can be autoclaved as well. For cleaning, please follow the GE approved reference material. 
These include the Advanced Breathing System Display for Autoclaving, the Cleaning and Sterilization User's Reference Manual, and after reassembly of the breathing system, the Anesthesia Delivery System's Reference Manual to perform a preoperative checkout. Please refer to the Cleaning and Sterilization User's Reference Manual for a list of G-approved cleaning agents. To assemble the breathing system, I'm first going to use the bellows base assembly, the APL valve ramp, and the APL valve diaphragm. I'm going to first insert my APL valve diaphragm. I'm going to take this put it in place. I'm just going to push it down to make sure it's seated. Next I'm going to take the APL valve ramp, insert the ramp tabs into the slots and rotate the ramp and press it down so it locks. To assemble the breathing circuit module I need the breathing circuit module, check valve assemblies, and the check valve circuit lens. First insert the check valve assemblies. Now locking down the check valve circuit lens. What you want to make sure is the lens and the latches line up. And I'm pointing this out how the, there's two different types of latches. So I have a straight latch and one that has a little notch on it. And what you do is you take the lens and you just press it down onto the latches and you press it down until the lenses lock. To insert the breathing circuit module into the bellows assembly, I need my bellows assembly and my breathing circuit module. An easy way to do this is place the bellows assembly on its side it's easier to line up with the circuit module. That way I can see the little notches in the hole on the bellows assembly and it makes it easier to line up the circuit module itself. So when they're lined up I'm going to slide this in and I'm going to rotate it clockwise. With the bellows assembly and the breathing circuit module connected, we can replace the O2 cell. Take the O2 cell and make sure that the O-ring is in place. Replace the O2 cell by screwing it in clockwise. Next, connect the O2 cell cable to the O2 cell into the breathing system. Attach the flow sensors to the module. First insert the flow sensors into the flow sensor holder. You want to make sure the tubes line up with the groove that they fit snugly in there. Next, attach the flow sensor connectors to the flow sensor holder. One thing you want to ensure is that my arrows are pointing out. And I'm just zooming in now so you can see that the arrows, and we want to have them pointed up when we put them into the flow sensor holder. Make sure that the flow sensor connectors, the grooves line up, and that the grooves line up when you place it into the holder itself. Additionally, make sure the tubes are not kinked or twisted.
to attach the cover, I'm going to take the cover and the flow sensor module, and I'm going to slide my flow sensors into the holes, kind of at an angle here. I'm just going to slide them in place. You can see I want the latch under the cover itself, so it easily slides in place. Make sure there's no kinks or twists in the tubing. Turn the thumb screw clockwise to tighten, and this is to fasten the cover. Attach the flow sensor module to the breathing system. Align the flow sensor module with the breathing system and slide it into place and push inward snug. Now your breathing system is fully assembled. To install the breathing system, I first want to identify my guide pins on the anesthesia delivery system. And I want to align the guide pins with my guide pin openings on my breathing system. By holding the rear handle and the latch handle, slide the breathing system onto the guide pins. Press in firmly until it latches. If the anesthesia delivery system utilizes a O2 cell, it is recommended to replace the ABS without the flow sensor module. This allows access to the O2 cell and connection cable. Reattach the flow sensor module by aligning the guide pin openings on the flow sensor module with the guide pins. Push in firmly and close the latch. Reattach the absorber canister and make sure that the latch is secure.